everyone, what's going on? Today I'm going to do my first hair tutorial for a quick messy curl. Let's get started. So as you can see my hair is just in its natural state. I washed it yesterday. So I'm going to start by putting on some mousse. Today I'm using um, the Styling a Mousse by Boots. It's really cheap and I find it works well. But any mousse will do. So that's the mousse on. Now my hair is a little bit stickier and it's not so silky. I find it'll hold the curl a bit better. The other thing I'm going to use is this um, salt spray by Schwarzkopf, got to be. This is really good, but you don't have to do this if you don't have any salt spray, don't worry, or any other salt spray will do. So I'm just going to spray this sporadically through my hair. So if after putting on those things your hair feels a bit wet, give it a quick blast with a hair dryer. So now that that's dry, you can choose to either brush through your hair or leave it as it is. I'm going to leave it as it is because I like more of a messy look. Now normally when I curl my hair, um, if I'm going out or something, I will section it all and make sure I get all the bits, but that is really time consuming. This is for quick curls, so I'm not going to section all of it, but I may section a little bit if there's some parts underneath that aren't getting curled. So I'm going to start with my curling tongs. This is a Vidal Sassoon curling tong and it goes up to 200 degrees centigrade. You can use any size barrel really. You could use a bigger one and just put in less hair or you could use a smaller one and put in more hair. But I find this size is really good. Now for this curl tutorial, we're always going to curl the way the hair. <sighs> for this curl tutorial, we're always going to curl the hair away from our face. So we're going to take a little piece Put the curling tong behind the piece of hair you want to curl in a downward fashion. Now, make sure your fingers are on the clippy part so you can easily access it. You just want to press the clippy part, put the top part of your hair in and wrap it round, hold it for a couple of seconds and then wrap the rest round. You're going to leave about an inch uh, free at the end. And just pull that out. Again, put it behind, hold it for a few seconds, wrap the rest around and keep this bottom part out. This is a messy curl obviously, so I just do all different sizes, all different parts, but I just make sure I do it all the, all the way from my face and do it in the same way wrapping the top part around for a few seconds and then adding the rest in and leaving this little bit free at the bottom. Moving on to the other side, we do it the same way but switch the curling tongue to the opposite hand. Hold it for a couple seconds. I can't actually see the back of my hair so I'm just going to guess what needs to be done. If you do want to pay a little bit more attention to the bottom parts and make sure you've got them all, you can always use a Kirby, uh, you can always use a hair clip. Just pull this part up. Now to do the front parts. We're going to do it pretty similarly in that we're going to curl away from our face. Put the top part in, curl it around, hold it for a few seconds. Now you're just going to push the curling tong, moving the hair through it slowly. Put it on the other side, hold it for a few seconds, put this part in your fingers and push. Through. There we go. Now for me that's curled enough but if you want to do a bit more you can obviously keep going and I will just tend to finish it off with a load of hairspray scrunching my hair as I go. Make sure you get the front parts in. Give it a good 
good scrunch. No, you can always add some more salt spray, but I think I have enough in. Sometimes I will, but I think I've got enough for now. And that's it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and thumbs up if you enjoyed this one.